In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this Magnes Media Parallax transition from scratch using only CapCut. As you know, Magnates Media has over 1 million subscribers on YouTube and it has his unique style of editing that catches viewers easily. Of course, they have a ton of team support for their complex video editing style. The question is, can you do it with CapCut? Well, let's find out. First, open CapCut and click on Create Project. Then make sure you turned Arrange Layers and Proxy on and set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 because we will edit a YouTube video. I will begin by importing the assets needed for this video. You can download the full assets by clicking the link on the description below that I provided for free. First, add the background image to the timeline. Click on Adjust and adjust the image the way you want. For the sake of this tutorial, I will fasten it a little bit. Then add Rudolph Dassler picture, which I colorized it using free AI tool. If you want to check it out, I've made a full video on how to colorize images for free on my YouTube channel. Now let's get back to the video. Click on mirror icon to change his side. Then crop it to get rid of the logo. Click on remove background and auto removal option. Add the second person, which is Adolf Dassler, to the timeline and follow the steps on the video. Then add the crowd video. Remove background using chroma key. Duplicate it by holding Alt key and moving it. Start by changing the starting point and mirroring the second one to get different results. Then adjust the background and the two photos too. Then add a keyframe at the beginning of all layers. Then move few frames forward and add another transform keyframe and increase the scale and position to get that zoom in effect. Apply for all layers.
Select the unnecessary parts and press W to trim. Make the two crowd videos a compound clip. and add another keyframe on few frames forward, then position them to the left until they disappear. Then right-click all keyframes and select Preset Curves and choose Ease to get smooth animations. Apply to all keyframes. Let's move to the second scene. Start by adding sky.png to the timeline. Then add the separated person's parts, which I separated them using Photopea. And to create that cinematic movement like Magnes Media, add a rotation keyframe on the head. Then follow the steps on the video. And you will get this. Finally, change each keyframe curves to ease and delete his other parts and duplicate the head by holding Alt and moving down. Add his middle part and replace the second copy by the hand. This will make it move like we saw earlier without adding keyframes manually. Then apply to the other hand too. Change keyframe location of each layer to get different results.
Finally, select and make the person's parts a compound clip. Then add a horizontal mask to the second layer and position it to 180 degree to make the sky visible. Add feather to it. Then start by adjusting the sky and the background image the way you want. Add an effect called Rebound Swing and Sharpen Edges to the person's compound clip. You can re-edit by double-clicking the compound layer. Then adjust the effects by decreasing size to 1. Select and move all three layers on top of all the first layers to get the parallax transition. Add keyframes at the beginning of the layers. Then move them to the right until they disappear. Then move few frames forward and bring all of them back. Make each keyframe smoother by selecting Ease. Finally, add a rectangle mask on both background layers and position them like this. Add feather a little bit. Then add the money clip on top of the second person and remove the background color using chroma key. Position Adolf Dassler at the top of all layers to get animation like Magnates Media. It's time to add effects. Search for effect called Wide Angle and place it on top of all layers. Then add Hazy Effect and Soft Effect. Adjust them. Compound all layers and add motion blur by setting blur to 50 and blend to 40 and wait for it to finish. For the final touch, add vignette effect. Finally, export the video and here is the final result. That's it for this video and if you liked it, smash the like button and subscribe.